Hello guys, today we have a very sacrilegious episode. Sacrilegious for us. Yes. Today we are once again confronting the realities of how difficult this world is. Yes. Recently we did a video where we reviewed our playing when we were young. A lot of you guys were like, oh, two sets said they're not prodigies, but see they are prodigies. No, 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 no. You don't understand. As to drive the point home, Today we will be looking at the childhood playing videos of today's world class solo. Exactly. So to start off, of course, none other than the violin goddess herself, Hilary Hahn. 15 years old in 1995. Alright, I mean, so when you were 15, that was your clip from the grave, right? The bar? That's, that, that was Brett playing Bach yes. at around 15. Yeah. Now let's see how Hillary plays Bach. Dude, that's actually seriously impressive. Yeah, that's not easy. It's not. It may sound easy to some of you listening compared to the other pieces we've heard. Yeah. But suddenly, it's extremely hard. Like, I don't think I can do that today. It'll be very hard. Well, just her sound as well. It's, it's solid. so clean. And she's not. Like, she's not like cheating any note. Yeah. It's all there. There's more of Hillary. Oh, Hillary. now it's Hillary when she was ten. It's getting younger and younger. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 no, 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 I've never seen this clip before. Dude, her left for pinky. Dude, her shift is better than my shifts, dude. Whoa. Dude, that sound at 10, ah. Uh, uh. Dude, she's got phrasing, man. And then, then go back, the bow savings. Glisses between shifts. Is I like, think her like musicality is developing already. It's refined. Yeah, and then her bow distribution is already starting to be refined. Yeah, I wonder what baby Hillary was thinking when she plays. I wonder if Hillary remembers this. Yeah, is that calculating bow distribution? Yeah, <laughs> right left, ten centimeters left. Go. Now next one, Midori Goto, common fantasy. Oh my god. Well, how old is she here? Sixteen. That's uh, around the age of your Paganini, right? Yeah. Oh no, here we go. Like, oh! I love it just comparing to all my. <laughs> you can just tell from the first note, then you're like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. No way, she's 16. She definitely doesn't sound. She doesn't sound 16, 16 at all. Guys, like, if we were to both play one line, we'll still be sound worse than her playing it on one violin. Yeah. Did 
there's a lot more talent than this than ever the whole of YouTube put together. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's so much talent in this. I know. In case your self esteem is still not completely destroyed, let's yeah. keep going. Midori. Oh, this is, like, oh, this is a famous clip. Yeah, when she's even younger at 14 years old. Up on the ace. Oh my god! god. <laughs> That's your change of fingers! Holy moly! To explain to the non string musicians, right? Da, 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 da. You're normally doing one particular pattern that you practice into your muscle memory, like E string, A string, E string, A string. And the E string snaps, so now in order to play up on the same note musically, she has to now do a completely different pattern that she's New never pattern. practiced. She's before. never practiced it. And she's doing by air on the spot, just Guessworking. I mean, she's not guessworking. She's probably she knows. Clearly knows the violin so, so well. well. I will be guessworking myself. Yeah. I almost didn't catch where yeah. she snapped the string. Yeah. You have to listen. And you to can it. tell when she goes to the concert master to switch the violin. That means the strings broke. Yeah. And asked to switch with the concert master. Yeah. That's yeah. no, just playing a different violin, dude. How does she play a complete new violin so well? Like, it takes me like two months to... I feel practice. like her bass line is just so yeah. high. Yeah. She's like, give me any violin, I'll yeah. do it. Alright, of course. Go. Hey, the OG Perlman at 13. Coleman has always struck me as someone that plays such effortlessly. It feels yes. so like... You can make such a rich tone while being so free. Yeah, and relaxed. And relaxed at the same time. Yes. Yeah. Dude, these are can remember can guys, these are 13 year olds. They're so in tune, but also so musical. Alright, last one. Anne Sophie Mutter mit 9. Oh yes, yes. The yes, way yes. she plays, that's definitely her type of There's sound. That fiery sound. Yeah, it's amazing how it's been there since she was a kid. Wow. Actually. That's, actually, that's crazy. That kind of personality in the sound. You really do hear people's personality come out through their playing. Yeah. But it's like Chroma hasn't changed. Yeah. Hillary hasn't changed. I mean they've changed. Like they've, they've become more of what they were. Refined, more expressive versions, but they have like a fundamental core to their sound. Yeah. And it doesn't change. Yeah. Like my crunching. My crunching hasn't changed. Ah! On that note guys, as Lin Lin says, you have to go practice. Oh, oh, you know what else Lin Lin says? Oh yeah. Lin Lin says you haven't subscribed yet? Oh. What? <coughs> Subscribe with 40 accounts. Yes. We need to hit 4 million subscribers. Yes. So we can do our next uh, live performance. Yes, exactly. The quicker we get there, the quicker we would do another performance. So, so Lin Lin says subscribe. simple mathematics, right? Like, look at how many great concertos there are for the violin now. If we can only play one concert per one million subscribers, then through mathematics, the quicker we get subscribers, the more concertos you guys get to hear. Exactly. I mean, how many concertos are there? Like 20. Oh, 200 million subscribers to hear all the concertos. Let's do it, guys. 200 million. 200? Are they? 20. Oh, yeah. To <laughs> get. That's right, guys. Accent the like button, the garter subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.